Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song for this 8th day of October, and it is Friday, and today's topic is titled, The Biochip. So we'll get into that topic here in a few minutes, but before I get started, let me greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and He too can be your Lord and Savior if you'll just humble yourself and admit you can't get to heaven your own way. It's only by believing on Jesus and what he did on the cross. Amen. All right, so today is the 8th, and we're going to sing today's scripture song, and then we'll get into the topic for the devotional. So let me press play here, and I'll sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Amen. <clears throat> okay. 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 What's Psalms 98, 1. Oh, sing a... Okay. It's weird. All right. I don't know what happened there. Last thing, I'm going to try that again. Acts 20, 24. Yep. But, but none, none of these things, things move me, neither, neither count, count I my, my life dear, dear unto, unto myself, myself so, so that, that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Amen. All right, here we go. <clears throat> None of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy. None of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy. The ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify of the grace of God which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel, the gospel of the grace of God. Amen. <clears throat> All right, so whoops, I'll do that again towards the end of the broadcast. Amen. Uh, that was a little bit more challenging there, but uh, praise the Lord. Go ahead and try it again towards the end. All right, now let's go ahead and get into this topic for Friday, October 8th, titled The Biochip. And the passage is from Joshua 1.8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy uh, make thy prosperity uh, uh, for then thou shalt make uh, uh, thy way thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Joshua one eight. I think he, I think he left out a thing there. Let me double check there. Joshua one eight. It just sounds kind of strange. Maybe I wasn't reading it right. All right. So Joshua one eight. And go in the Bible here. I left out the word. <clears throat> just want to make sure. Sometimes that happens where you leave out a word or so. All right, so Joshua 1.8. All right, so let's see. Yep, all right, so actually uh, you did uh, forget a word there. All right, so I'll read it to you uh, here in the Bible. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So when he was typing it out, he must have forgot to type in the word way. <clears throat> but uh, that happens sometimes where we get to writing things out and leave out words and not mean to. So I don't think he did it on purpose, but <clears throat> amen. All right, so that was Joshua one eight. And the author today is T.W., and that would be the initials for T.W. That would be uh, 
Tom Wallace, and he's an evangelist from Mur Murfreesboro, uh, Tennessee. So I'm going to read you what he wrote here on this topic of the biochip. All right, he says, <clears throat> as he writes here, Do you think scientists will ever be able to plant a computer chip in the human brain and get access to instant knowledge? Uh, bioengineers and computer scientists are attempting to grow a biochip. They hope to use a protein and an enzyme to create the uh, miracle chip. A storage unit measuring one cubit inch could store all available knowledge in existence today. Uh, they believe that they might implant the chip into the brain of an expert or genius. Mm. Uh, it would uh, then absorb all their expertise and knowledge, and then the chip would be uh, reproduced and transferred to students uh, or clients, thus becoming instant geniuses. Uh, it is suggested that through this type of implanting, uh, damaged brains could be repaired so that uh, blind eyes could see, deaf ears could hear, and the mute could speak. The body could be programmed to heal itself in a hundred different ways. Hmm. Sounds like man's trying to play God again. <laughs> Always trying to play God, trying to, trying to um, uh, bypass God, and you know, and try to act like they're God, and trying to make things to. Um, so, <clears throat> won't be too hard for the Antichrist to come in and uh, do that kind of thing. Um, so. Continuing on, it says, It sounds as if they might be trying to do the work of the Lord and maybe even replace him. Yeah, so I was just saying, uh, in this, is this Tower of Babel um, musing? Mm. Uh, he asks, Folk ought to consider a spiritual implant instead, right? So folk ought to in consider a spiritual implant instead. As the Apostle Paul said, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Philippians 2, 5, and he concludes here, he says, I think we would be wise to follow the admonition of Paul in this verse and in that of today's verse above. Amen. So <clears throat> let, uh, let the mind of Christ be in you. Amen. Especially if you're saved, because you uh, can't have the mind of Christ unless you're saved. So, and uh, amen. All right. So that is the end of the topic about this biochip. <clears throat> and, uh, Men wanting to play God and bypass God and um, replace him. Always trying to replace God with something uh, that the human think they can do. So, all right. So that is the end of the topic today. The biochip. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So now it's time to get into today's hymn and hymn story. And this is <clears throat> from the hymn, Come Christians Join to Sing. And so, let me play this. I don't think I've ever heard this one either. Uh, this one was written by uh, Christ Christian Henry Bateman. And it says, The Traditional Spanish Melody Arranged by Benjamin Carr. So, let me see if I have heard this before. I'm not sure. sing with the with the music here <clears throat> Choice 
beginning and now get into the story here um, from this hymn come Christians join to sing it was written in 1843 and the passage is from Psalm 100 verse 2 so Psalm 100 and verse 2 so we go there Psalm 100 and verse 2 <clears throat> all right so uh, it says here in verse 2 of Psalm 100, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, so that was verse 2 of Psalm 100. The whole entire uh, chapter there is pretty good. It's only like, I think like four or five verses. Amen. All right, so go ahead and let's play again and read you the story here. All right, this is the story behind the him come Christians join to sing. It says many of our adult hymns were originally written for children. Uh, Savior, like a shepherd lead us, is a good example. So is Isaac Watts' great hymn, I Sing the Mighty Power of God, which first appeared in his uh, Divine and Moral Songs for Children. The rousing onward Christian soldiers was written for the youngsters of uh, Her Herbury, England, to sing on a uh, Monday morning in 1865 as they marched to a nearby village to establish a Sunday school. Even the great anthem, All Creatures of Our God and King, by St. Fra uh, Francis of uh, Assisi, A -S -S -I -S -I, uh, was first translated into English and set to music for a 1919 Children's fest Festival in Leeds, England. Here's another instance. Uh, Come Christians, Join to Sing, first appeared in Sacred uh, Melodies for Children, published in Edinburgh in 1843. The original words said, Come children, join to sing. Its author, Christian Henry Bateman, a pastor in Edinburgh was committed to developing a Sunday school in which children sang the great truths of the Christian faith. Bateman had begun his ministry as a Moravian pastor, but moved to Edinburgh and became a congregational minister and the pastor of Richmond Place Congregational Church, uh, where he was uh, serving when he wrote, Come Christians, Join to Sing, he was later ordained in the Church of England and ministered in that communion until his retirement in 1884. He passed away five years later. 
Become Christians joined to sing originally had five stanzas, but Bateman reduced the hymn to its present form in the 1854 edition of his hymnal, uh, Sacred Melodies uh, for uh, Sabbath Schools and Families. This book became one of the best-selling songbooks in Scottish history, selling more than six million copies by 1881 and becoming the standard hymn book for Scottish Sunday schools for a generation. Amen. Uh, continuing on, it says, The tune, uh, Madrid, uh, was a popular Spanish folk melody arranged for this hymn by Benjamin Carr, who was born in London in 1769 and died in Philadelphia in 1831. In England, Carr was a well-known singer with the London uh, Ancient Concerts. Immigrating to America, he joined his father and brother in a music publishing enterprise with stores in Philadelphia, New York, and Baltimore. He also served as a church organist and music director in Philadelphia for many years. Benjamin Carr is best known as the first American publisher of Yankee Doodle and for arranging the music to Come Christians Join to Sing. Huh. Interesting. That was a good uh, story there behind the hymn, Come Christians Join to Sing. Amen. All right, so that is the end of the hymn and hymn story for today. And so tomorrow's hymn and hymn story will be from the hymn, Come Ye Thankful People Come. And it was written by Henry Alford and George J. Elvey. And this was written in 1844, and the passage will be from Psalm 95, verse 2. Amen. So that will be tomorrow's him and him story. Amen. All right. So now I'll go ahead and get into sing some scripture songs again before we wrap it up. Amen. All right. So we'll go ahead and sing yesterday's, and then we'll conclude with today's. We might sing today's twice just to get it down. We'll see what happens. All right. Psalms 31, 24. Be, Be of, of good, good courage, courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Oh, excuse me. No, hope in the Lord. <clears throat> Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord, all ye that hope in the Lord, all of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord, all ye that hope in the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Amen. All right, now we'll try today's again. Might do it a couple times. We'll see uh, how good the... Get it down here. But none of these, these things move me, neither, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that, that I might finish my course with joy in the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Amen. All right. Try it again. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself. I might finish my course with joy. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy. And the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify 
Oh, oh, the grace of God I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify, testify the gospel of the grace of God. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and try that one more time. Just to get it down, uh, there's one part where he's like joy or something like brings it back up. So try to remember that. Amen. Acts 20, 24. But none, none of these things move me, neither, neither count, count I my, my life dear unto myself, myself so, so that, that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel, the gospel of the grace of God. God. Amen. All right, here we go. None of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy. None of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy. The ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify oh, of the grace of God which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify. Testify the gospel of the grace of God. Amen. All right, I think that uh, that should do it. Amen. All right, so that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then tomorrow's topic for the Baptist Bread devotional. So tomorrow will be the ninth, and we're singing John fifteen seven. It says, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Amen. So that will be tomorrow's scripture song, John fifteen seven. Amen. And then tomorrow's topic for the devotional for the ninth will be titled Twins. Tribulation and Patience. Oh, uh, so that would be tomorrow's topic. Twins, Tribulation and Patience. Romans 5, 3 is the passion, uh, passage. Amen. So it doesn't look like it's a very long devotional. A quick little one here. Uh, amen. So do that tomorrow. And then if you'd like to get the book here, this is from last month and this month. But if you order now, you'll probably get... The one for November and December. Amen. And the way to order that is by going to the website here at www.timgreenministries.org. And then for the scripture songs, this is the song book that I use. Amen. And you can order this on the website also. And uh, that's available along with the CDs. Or if you want to download them through MP3 format, uh, you can do so by going to www.dailyscripturesongs.com. Amen. And then the hymn storybook here is titled Then Sings My Soul Book 2 and this is 150 of the world's greatest hymn stories written by Robert J. Morgan and uh, I believe there's four volumes to that along with some special volumes that he's done so you can either go to your local bookstore and order it there or probably find it on the internet somewhere. Amen. Alright, well that'll be it for today's uh, broadcast so thanks for watching and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. All right, remember, Jesus saves, believe on him. And if you're saved already, I hope that this uh, has been a help and a blessing to you. That's why I do these devotionals, so uh, none of it's my material. I uh, get it from this uh, Baptist Bread devotional, and praise the Lord for these men that write these devotionals each day. So praise the Lord. There's some uh, good ones in here. Amen. So you always take what you can from it, and then uh, if there's stuff there that you're not too sure about. You can always leave it. Amen. All right. All right, so see you all next time. Bye for now.